every summer makeup bag needs to have a corally, peachy, orangey lipstick in it. It looks so beautiful on a slightly warmer skin tone and the one I always go back to year after year is by Max Factor. It's from Colour Elixir range and it's pink brandy. Um, I've worn this for years and years and obviously like most things you just think oh, I'm bored of that. Oh, I just want to find something else and then that becomes your new favourite but I keep going back to this one and whenever I wear it people say I love that lip colour. So I'm going to do a little look with this said lipstick for you all. Um, so Corally lips, how do we make that work, right? I've got my base on and brows just to kind of make it quicker for you. Um, Vital Luminaire Chanel, super lightweight foundation, great for the summer months, great for oily skin. Um, I'm using shade 40. Um, I'm a bit more warmer at the moment in my skin tone, so normally I'm about a 20 or a 30. A um, little bit of powder on my skin and brows done. Right, so I'm going to start with my cheeks first and I'm going to use one of my favourite nude um, blushes which I love, cream blushes. Um, so this is by Laura Mercier and it's called Canyon and I'm going to place it just very softly in the front of my cheeks and then blend out. I'm not going too high, I really want to keep this area of my face nice and light and bright. I've been using um, a really lovely light reflecting concealer by Sensei, which I'll use in another video actually. Um, really, really nice underneath the eyes. Sits well on my skin. My skin obviously is 45 years old and sometimes when I put concealer on it looks really crepey and tight, but this is really beautiful. Anyway, going back to the Laura Mercier cream blush, again just keeping it nice and light around the eyes here, it just gently breaks up the foundation, frames your features slightly, um, but it's very minimal and I like that when I've got a busy makeup going on because it's just a really clean colour. My skin is very red underneath the foundation so I don't really like to use a lot of berry colours. I don't particularly like berry as a colour anymore because I think it's really ageing. Um, I prefer stronger colours. It's another video I should do for you all. Um, so I prefer kind of neutral shades looks more contemporary, nice glow to the skin. So the next product we're going to use is by Laura Mercier and it's their caviar sticks. Now if you've never looked at a Laura Mercier caviar stick before, go and have a look. Really, really lovely, simple products to make your eyes defined and colourful. Um, I use all of them in my kit actually. They've got some lovely taupey colours, brownie colours, um, really dark matte colours. This is a beautiful copper as you can see. Now I've put it on quite haphazardly as I often do and place it all over the lid and then stretch it with a nice clean brush over the socket. Now this really catches the light and when you've got a little bit of definition with it, which I'll bring you to later, um, it looks really lovely. It's not too orangey this copper um, and it's not too yellowy gold which I think looks really fake. So once blended out, um, it migrates with the skin really beautifully and it still looks really, really classy, but it helps shape your eyes because the metallic tones just catch the light on the top of the eyes, making your eyes look more dome shaped. So if you've got small eyes, metallic shades are really good because they help to bring out the shape of your eye. Now, once dry, these colors are really good at staying put. They don't crease. Make sure you help your eyelids aren't too oily, obviously, um, but they do a really good job of staying still. Next, I'm going to use one of my favourite gel eyeliners by a brand called Inglot. Um, it's, a, it's a Polish brand and I really love the softness and texture of this gel liner. Um, and I'm going to use it and apply it with a angled eyeliner brush. This is by Zoeva. And I'm going to stretch my lid so that I really can push the gel liner right as close as I can into the lash line. Now sometimes it's easier to get a gel liner right close up to that lash line than it is a cold pencil because the cold pencil needs to be super super sharp. So using an angle brush you can really get the definition without a chunky line and the chunky line can actually close your eyes and I don't want it to be a heavy makeup. I don't really want people to see that I've got brown eyeliner on as such, I just want it to really boost my lash line. So if you want to get up close or you've got small lids, use an angled brush 
and again stretch, stretch, stretch. So I can't extend it too far because my socket collapses, so it distorts the line. So I have to, oops, so I have to finish just at the end of my lash line, but I lift it slightly and turn it around and just use the point to define that part of your eye. And I always use my hand as a little palette, but that's up to you, just have it for me. And you can see that really helps to define the shape of the eye without sort of overpowering it. I'm just gonna go in with um, Zoeva Smudger and just go over that just to make sure that none of it's gonna travel and it's wedged in along the top lash line. And that's it. Right, next up, quick colour of the eyelashes. Press down. Spread out. The other side. Now, I'm gonna keep this mascara I'm going to be using Fairy Drops Mascara because I love achieving mascara. I'm just going to keep the mascara top heavy this time. I'm not going to go for a more round eye effect and the brighter lip. Um, I just think it looks a little bit fresher if I don't overdo it with the colour, the metallic, the lash line. It's all about balance. As soon as you overdo it or your face gets too busy, I wanted to use the hump, the curve of the mascara one to lift. Great. Some tubing mascaras are very, very um, thin, but the Fairy Drops one's got a little bit of oomph to it so you can get a bit more of a lift and it does really hold the curl. So that looks delicate and defined and I just love that shot of a uh, metallic. And because it's a cream, it just really connects well with the skin. So onto my lip, I'm gonna use a little bit of powder very gently over my lip. Now why do I do that? Just absorbs any extra oil. So I always use Venefect. It's a really great anti-aging lip treatment. Um, it's not glossy or shiny. It just kind of gives a lovely soft base for your lipstick to go onto. If you find that your lips are dry or you can't hold color on your lips or it doesn't last very long. Um, have a little try of this product. Um, I've loved it. I use it on all my girls and all my clients. And I just don't want this area to be too greasy before I put the colour on because it's just going to move and I really want the colour to stay put, obviously. I'm going to use a Max Factor liner. There's a nudie liner, I think it's called Nude or Spice, forgive me, I don't know the name of it. Brown and Nude, I was quite close. So I'm going to stretch my lips and I'm going to use the side of the pencil. And again, this is just a classic all rounder shade that you can use with a little bit of balm or just to create a nice lip shape. So I've got the Ven effect in, look how easily that spreads and that just avoids that horrible kind of ugly skinny lip line which you know will obviously wear off when your lipstick wears off. So let me show you the pink brandy now, straight from the bullet. Like it's not too bright, it's not like tangerine. It's a, a really flattering peachy coral. Ta-da! It just lifts. Mm. It's so nice with a warmer complexion, but also similarly nice with a pale or darker complexion. Great, lovely. So, if you've never worn coral lipstick before, this is a great one to opt for. Um, it's really comfortable to wear on the lips. It doesn't move, it's not too glossy, it's not too dry. Um, so it kind of sits in the middle of hopefully everyone's preferences. I really like it, let me know if you've tried it before. And again, just a really simple way to update and kind of seasonalize your makeup. I hope you like the quick look and I look forward to speaking to you all below. And if you haven't before, please subscribe. Chat to you next Saturday. Bye.